Hello everybody. Uh, so today I have something really, really special. Uh, I've been looking forward to the, doing this uh, little review for uh, quite a while now, several months in fact. Uh, here we have our most expensive thing that we've sold as a company to date. This here is an inch cube made of pure rhodium metal. And uh, you would say, well, how expensive can it be? Well, I'll get, I know that's going to be the first question that gets asked, so let's go right to it. This thing costs $62,000 to make. Uh, I, I, it's ridiculous. It's not what the customer paid. Uh, this is a bit of a story here. Uh, the, the customer paid a few thousand dollars less than that. Um, but as it turns out, uh, the between the time that the money uh, was transferred and the supplier agreed uh, to make the cube, uh, the price of rhodium, which w this was uh, started over the, uh, the summer, skyrocketed, and uh, it, it by that by the time everything was a go, uh, we actually ended up having to pay to um, uh, more so we, we we lost money on this deal but it's it's all right uh, we we made the customer happy in the end uh, hopefully who hasn't uh, seen it just yet the the cube but um, I know the customer will be very excited to uh, get this I'm, I'm having a bit of a struggle getting it out of this saran wrap but let's all check it out so here's a what a cube made of one of the most difficult, rare, and easily most expensive metals looks like. A perfect cube, an inch to a side, made of pure rhodium metal. It, the thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I can't believe I'm holding something in my ha hands that is this valuable. Uh, $62,000 to make and as if that wasn't enough, uh, the 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 supplier will not make another one, uh, even at that cost, uh, because uh, it, it there was a lot of trouble in making it. What happens is that um, the first of all, the cube itself should weigh about uh, two hundred grams. Um, based on the density and the fact that it's centered material, so it's not full density. I have a scale here somewhere. Let's check it out. Uh, this is a cheap scale, not a lab scale, but that'll give us an idea. So, yeah, just over 200 um, grams. And right now, the going rate for it on eBay as of November is about 200 grams, $200 a gram. So 200 times 200 is $40,000 in the end, the intrinsic value of this uh, cube. But uh, what's really the whopper here is the labor costs. Uh, what ended up happening is that the, the, the manufacturer had to order 255 grams to make the cube because a lot um, how this process starts uh, you 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 melt or you you press a lot of it's not really melt it's, it's centered so what happens is that the 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 supplier will get a big bunch of uh, the metal as powder and then press it under high heat to create a solid metal uh, and for all effects and purposes, it is a solid metal, but when you look at it under a microscope, you can see tiny little pockets that make it look more like a sponge instead of solid. Anyway, so they start out with this huge amount of rhodium that they need, uh, 255 grams, so 50 grams is going to be lost. Of course, it can be recovered, but it has to be sent back to the refinery and um they're going to lose some money, which of course we have to uh, uh, front that those costs. And then the cube is um, sculpted away under a process called 
uh, EDM, which uh, takes a, a, a wire uh, stylus that comes very close to the metal and sparks away, and that creates a very accurate uh, uh, surface uh, dimensions. So it comes very close to what the dimensions are. And as a final stage, and this is where it gets really complex, it goes into a lapping machine that will polish it to the surface. Well, here's the problem is that uh, you put that into that machine and it takes several days, days, not hours, before it's ready. Uh, and you might get only you know one side done and then only find out when it comes out because you can't really check it as it's going. You, you check it when the process is done several days later to find that, oh, there's a, a blemish right in the middle. And since they contractually uh, expected it, uh, we expected it to be perfect, as does the customer, of course, then it had to go back into the first stage. It had to be done all over again and they did that process several times. It took literally months to make this and that's how it ended up having these huge costs overruns in terms of labor to to make it. So the supplier calculated, well, we've never made a, a, a cube of this metal before, but it should take this long. Right? So they calculated X amount of labor costs and machine use time. And I'm sure they lost money because they had to redo it so many times over. It took about four months to make this cube. Nobody has ever made an object made out of pure rhodium at this size before. I'm pretty sure i I I've scoured the internet and nothing's come up. So um, it's not surprising that they would say, you know what, <laughs> we don't want this project anymore because we're going to lose money. I'm sure if I got a checkbook out and, you know, said, you just tell me how much it is and I'll pay it, you know, but they, they would then charge some obscene uh, amount of money over the cost. And uh, this problem does uh, trickle down to some of the other metals as well. I've, I've talked in other videos, but anyway, uh, here it is, an inch to a side, uh, 25.4 millimeters of pure rhodium metal, and you're looking at a 200 gram cube that with an intrinsic value of $40,000, but in reality, it ended up costing $62,000. And if you wanted to make a new one, it would cost even more than that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have questions, let me know. I'm really excited for the uh, customer who will get this. Uh, this is Rasiel for Lucid Cheerio. Let me know any questions. Thanks.